Let's talk about King's Row. Actually, do you want to go in... Do you want to go in order? Well, we actually haven't really gone in order, have we? Straight to fucking Junker Town. Um... <clears throat> okay, King's Row. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Okay. This is really detailed, actually. I really like this. Well done, Stat Banana. Well done. It's really good. Um... I see... A lot, a lot of teams. Like, because my two of my account, like one of my accounts, fluctuates like mad because I play with my friends and stuff. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's go for. Let's go. Let's go for Anna. Actually, Anna in defense. I don't think people would usually play that, but whatever. Uh, Zen. What else you gonna have? You're probably gonna have a Hanzo. People like to play Hanzo. Uh, maybe Junkrat. Let's go with Junkrat. This is a pretty viable composition. Um, and for attack, like a lot of times, it's going to be a Ryan. Oh, Ryan. I don't, I don't care if I got the colors wrong. I, I, I can never remember which it red, if red's attacking or blue's attacking. So we're going to roll with what it is. Um, what is Zenyatta? Zenyatta. Am I blind, chat? Ah, oh, there is. Zen, and then let's just say, for instance, you, you know, well, let's just go with mirror compositions because it's easier. It'll be easier to explain but it's some particular things I'm going to go. Actually, are you going to run Junk Crown Attack? Ha! No. You're probably likely to run a Widow. You're probably likely to run a Widow. Let's just go with that. Surprise, surprise. Now, in lower ELOs, teams will generally hold here. Um, with the Ryan Shield here, and it's super frustrating um, to see because it, it, in all honesty, it, it, it's really not a great place to hold. It's that's why it's called like plat hold. It, it, it's that simple. It is that simple. Now this is this is generally you can agree this is pretty much generally the, the setup right here. Now, let me just put Zen in here or something, or whatever, right? This happens a lot. <coughs> no, Wid is in a good position, you know, providing you don't have another Wid, and you just go, Bleh. So, but this is just good to do for now, for a particular reason. Right, this is the blue right shield. Now, why is this bad? Why is this so, so, so bad? Well, first off, if you fight here, it's more than likely... That one of you or one of your team is going to get aggressive or whatever, and they're just going to go peek. And then the widow doesn't even have to move from spawn. She goes, blah, headshot, or even on the tank, right? Tank slow, shit, we need to retreat. So you are going to retreat here. Or, like, going inside is just, I'm not even, I'm not even going to talk about going inside, because going inside is the stupidest thing you can do as a defensive team. Um... Now, this is maybe more of a thing you used to see it. At like plat, diamond, up higher. Um, I'm not going to reference the ELOs I played in because I haven't played the higher ELOs, so this is only relevant to uh, Masters and Below. Um, why is this a better positioning? Well, first off, there is a particular thing called a kill box, and this is right here a kill box. So whichever team enters it, they first, which is likely the attackers, because obviously, well, defensive team is going to be like, <coughs> clock ticking, let's go, guys, we're just chilling. So the attacking team is going to walk into this kill box, and they're going to get sh just rained on by damage because the Ryan is in a favorable position; he can hug. And tell his team I'm going to retreat around hotel. So Widow doesn't have any sight lines. Hanzo can play around the car. Zen can retreat into here, into here, back all the way here, depending on the team comp, etc. 
providing you have a Zen. All right, let's do it this way. There you go. So this is a much better defensive positioning because the the enemy team has to move into the skill box. And yeah, even if they do move around the statue, you'll see that they go around the statue. That's fine. That's fine. They're still going to have to enter your kill box. They're the ones... They're the ones... Um, who need to decide that they need to go in. And so it's true. Attackers decide when. Defenders decide where. Um, attackers choose when to engage. And def the defensive team chooses where to engage. <coughs> It's very true, um, and if you play in Ryan's area, this is fine. Um, I see a lot of um, obviously, um, owl teams play this a little differently, and you see um, this is dangerous in the respect of, particularly now of the meta, because if the enemy team runs goats, um, and I'll show you the goats composition. It's Ryan. It's Zarya. It's uh, Brigitta, 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 Moira, Lucio, and Diva. Preferably, preferably. All right, where's Diva? Diva, 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 Diva. Ah, there you go. Right. Here you go. This is dangerous because of this composition right here. Because they're just going to go balls to the wall right into your team and you're going to get a run. Oh, I've seen that happen. And the only person that gets away is Johansson, who's like, ah, the fuck out of here. Or Junkrat, who's fucking double mines away. But your tanks are going to be dead to this. Like, if they run goats, this is essentially just a fucking battering ram just going through your team. So, but again, you don't see that many goats in ranked. Um, it's only when it's time banking, people are like, well, let's just run goats and run into them. Rawr. So, that's that. Um, but if we go back to... Um, actually, you know what? No, let's leave it, because I want to carry on talking about this for a particular reason. For a particular reason. Lucio and... Uh, Moira. There we go. Alright, so for a particular reason, I want to talk about this to little current frames, and then we'll go to. And this is what you see owl teams do. Right? They have a. Arissa. They have a Hogarino. They have a Mercerino. They have a. Hanzo. And a. Widow. I'm, this is just approximate positioning. It's for flankers because I want to talk about the whole team team as a whole rather than just that. Right, so there is a shield is here. And it's stationary and they got view on the point which is here. Right, that's essential. That's the objective here. That's terrible. I don't like this line. Let's do it better. That's Right here is the objective. Actually, let's get rid of them. People know where the fucking objective is. Now they don't. They can get the diva to drop down and contest at any point, and they have a very dangerous combination of hold hook. Um, the handsel can rain damage from above. The widow can move into the window right here, or even behind in some respects. Uh, let's just say she's here. And if you run the goats comp into this, you're like, ah, we're in a point now. But the Ryan shield can only point one way. So let's say he's blocking damage here. God damn it, I need pink. It's blocking damage here. This means this gives widow. Free, uh, free. Oh, hello. No, I want to draw. Free shots on the whole team. If Hansa, if 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 Hansa goes here, it gives you another side line. If Hansa jumps on the other side, then shit gets really hard, because it does. That happens. 
So not only it's a crossfire from three tanks, but it's also a perf it could be a perfect crossfire from two snipers. And Diva can drop, contest, boop, and then just boost up. She doesn't even need to boost to the point. She can literally just drop and just boost up. So that in this particular situation, Coach is bad, and that's why. That's why. As soon as this happens, let's pretend they are running ghosts. They're gonna run out of spawn, and they're gonna be like. Fuck no, and then they're gonna go, and you, that's why you see a lot of players go to Farah for the briefest of seconds. Boop, people are from here onto the low ground. No, no, give me blue. Boop onto the low ground because of the boop here, so people fly down unless Diva eats it, and there they go and they give uh, the blue, uh, the red team, um, an advantage in that respect. Because let's put the hand back. Because everyone's on low ground now, so they can just fucking battering ram through them. You know, even if you, they have Ryan, Zarya, Brigitte, Moira, Lucia, and then Diva switches off to uh, Farah, or Zarya switches off to uh, whatever. But um, yeah, so that that's essentially the most common positions. And like when I see, when, when I see teams position, let me move these a bit closer. When I see team's position here, it's just dog shit. It, it's really bad. It is really, really bad. So, but, and that, that, that's, that's why people, pos like, Arissa's, and you see people playing high ground here, because it's cover for your Mercy can hide in here. Oh, no, that's a diva. Hide into the corridor here, down the stairs, and here, and it, it's generally really, really good. And that's why you see a lot of other teams hug the wall straight away. Um, if, they're, if they do go goats, and they're just in that position, they just go, boop, straight to the wall. Um, and hug it. They never go to here because going here is just a death sentence. Plus, they can't really contest because of sight lines. So that's that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, two. Uh, there is. Um, I guess there's quite a bit to talk about. To be honest. Um, well, first off, providing you got good spawns. Um, and everyone dies on point, and no staggers for you, which is good. Um, and the payload goes to here, that's safe for this example. Um, good starting positioning would be here to defend, and if you win that team fight, you can push up and selfless fucking spawn them or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna put the ethnic ground and cut. Uh, this is a good position because you, you, you got a corner to hide here. Um, plus, in all honesty, um, there isn't oh, no go back. That's not a cursor. It doesn't really give the enemy any kind of sightlines except this maybe. Um, from here, it only covers this much. Um, it's not great. It, it really isn't that great um, unless they're flying behind. But you, you don't really see it that much because um, if they see it's a five v six, they're gonna push in, be very aggressive, win that fight, and then by that time, like a flank McCree goes around them, and you're like, "Look, oh, guys, I got a dead eye." Uh, everyone's dead. Um, so that's that. Um, let me get rid of these. So yeah, overall holding here is a good, good position. Um, holding here is not great because there is no transition to contest like unless you go straight in but then this is where this sight line comes into play and it's really difficult um, plus you know uh, what you don't want to contest you don't want you definitely don't want to contest here you definitely want to, don't want to contest here so if the car's like here and then Mijan is like ah here you, here it's very difficult to contest well oh you're so sexy so sexy what's up Carl how you doing dude um, yeah, you definitely don't want to contest here at this point because the problem with this um, overall is that out of nowhere, if teams realize what's happening, they've got a whole sight line across this whole way here. Um, they can come up pub and behind, and it's just an ass ache to deal with. So it's 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 not good. It's not good. 
Um, it's like if if you have to, it is what it is. Like take the you know take the fight on point and bring it. Hopefully bring it in your favor. Um, so you can contest the point here. At least you can stall the cap for long enough, so you're gonna get a fight here. But generally holding here is not a great idea. Um, holding here on the other hand is very good. Um, uh, da -da -da. No, go. Yeah, there we go. Holding here is very, very good um, because essentially you control this particular area and they have to move into, like we said, this kill box right here, um, the red team that is. So they're actually going to have to move into here, whereas you already got sights on it, whether from you know high ground, from here. Um, or your team, even if your core is right here behind your Ryan or Arissa, you know, I'm, I'm just basing this on the fact that you've got Orion, but hey, you, if you have an Arissa, you have a Winston. Right, well, it, it's played differently with Dive, but I'm just going to go for the co compositions that I see most of the time in competitive right now because very few play Dive on King's Row. King's Row is always a Ryan map, all like um, for, for the majority of its time. So, uh, so yeah, this, this particular position is very, very good. Um, I see a lot of people. Holding here is. I don't like it personally because the you're restricted in your sight lines, whereas the enemy team literally has all of this, um, all of this area here in their control. They can be from any angle like that, shooting into your team. Whereas you've only got this fucking tunnel vision here, so it's not great. It's not great. Uh, for point three again. You want to hold corners as much as you can, um, especially if you, like, as a Ryan. Um, you want to hold this particular corner um, right here. Because the sidelines here, they, so so this is where this is this is interesting. So if you have a Widow on your team, and you're a Ryan, and you hold this corner, she, you're actually enabling her. Um, I'm going to actually use these markers for this. Let's say she's pocketing here, and then you have like a Zen. Zen, 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 Zen. Let's just say it's a miracle. Don't do it, Anakin. I have the high ground. Good boy. Don't do it, Anakin. Because you're going to be a bad fool later on. So. <laughs> um. Right. So. If you hold this position and the enemy team, I'm going to move the pillar back there. If the pay, if the enemy team is pushing into here, this enables um, your you essentially enable your widow with this because she's already set up for line uh, sight lines into the enemy team and to this little corner here as well and to here, and it's the red widow that has to the attacking widow has to peek your widow. Um, to gain advantage, but this is dangerous obviously because the defending widow has already got sight lines. Um, and if if you don't have a w uh, wait, hello, that's not a Zen Yatta. What the fuck is this? Re, I got it wrong, chat. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. That's better. Look at that. Um. You can contest card wins here. Oh shit! God damn it! You can contest card wins here. First off, um, as a Ryan. So this is good, and you block the uh, the way to think about this. You block the enemy team from advancing into a more favorable position for them because if this was, um, if they are on, if the red team is on this corner. Let's move you guys back, and you play this corner here. 
Like, this is still a good corner, but not as a first fight. Definitely not as a first fight. If the enemy team has already got, gathered the advantage and are fighting here, their widow is going to have sights um, on your team. And it's the defensive widow has to peak, and it has to make fucking clutch plays, dude. Clutch plays. Um, so, if you can, always defend this particular corner first. And, uh, no, I want blue. Always defend this corner first, and then transition if you have to into two, which is here. Because you're only going to get these two holds. You're only going to get these two holds on King's Row 3. What team am I on for the OWP? The F Team Freight Train. Team Freight Train. Um, also, if you do win this team fight here, you can actually progress and be more aggressive here and even push up a bit further. And then you can be less aggressive. You've got this corner to play around with. Um, if you're retreating, you've got this corner and the horseshoe and horseshoe, should I say. Um, but yeah, overall, um, you really only get going to get these two positions. You're only going to get these two positions on three that are really good enough to defend. Because um, attackers, they... Uh, it's, to be fair, it's the same goes for attackers. You win this team fight, um, and it's likely you, you like the car's already going to be at this point here by the time people spawn and shit. Like if the if if the payload is here, and you win one team fight, is going to be probably like at this point here. So always be smart about three because King's Row three is very uh, elusive. And you can stall it out hard, but holding it is just knowing these two particular spots to hold. To hold. Hey, what's up, Joe? That's a cool map I've got there. Yeah, man. I've got Stat Banana. Stat Banana Nana Nana. So, yeah. Well, that's essentially King's Row. There's not much to talk about King's Row from, from this particular angle. And I, I don't want to go into dives because dives are completely different to... Um, Ryan Zari and Orissa kind of um, kind of play because um, with dive it's it's um, it's different and to be fair because like considering we're in the meta swap we're in the um, we're in the meta now where the DPS must swap instinctually um, against their counters to Bring them in favor because if they got dive, they can run Brigitte and leave the widow out for two and three if they lost this fight because they found out or whatever, you know. So, I just, yeah, I just wanted to cover this as a whole in regards to um, just the Ryan and the Zarias and the Rissas and the Hogs. We have one of the toughest preseason fixtures, feels bad, man. Oh, really? I ain't scared. We're going to win the whole thing. Just saying. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it, really, for King's Row. That, 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 that's pretty much it on, on the absolute like basics of holds and presets. Um, 